Infinite Live and Instant. Don't adjust whatever device you are here because you are about to learn something new for today's sessions. And I am your teacher for today and I am about to discuss all about class and time. So let's start. Gotcha. Finally, we're here to our destination. Welcome to my faculty. So, let's start our discussion for today. Based on your opinion, what do you think classroom climate is? Again, our topic for today is all about classroom climate. When we say classroom climate, it is a byproduct of social interactions between and among teachers and students. The classroom climate is more a product of the interaction between and among teacher and students than that of the physical condition of the classroom. The physical condition of the classroom may exert an influence on the social interaction among the personalities in class, but it may not contribute as much as the classroom social interaction does. The classroom climate that is conducive for learning is one that is not threatening yet business-like. It is a classroom where specific classroom rules and procedures are clear. These classroom rules and procedure are discussed on the first day of class. It is necessary for the students to know what are expected to them and what are the do's and don'ts inside the class. Classroom rules and procedure must be specific to be easily understand and follow by our students. The moment they enter inside a class, they are already involved on its rules and regulations. Students are involved in the design of rules and procedures. As teachers, we should provide techniques to acknowledge and reinforce acceptable behavior and provide negative consequences are employed. As classroom manager, you should establish clear limits for an acceptable behavior. Another thing that you must consider to have a conducive learning environment is that it should have a healthy balance between dominance and cooperation. We all know that our students are diverse, so as teachers, we should be aware of the needs of different types of our students. Also, we should be fully aware on the happenings inside our class to resolve minor inattention and disruptions before they become major disruptions. And the most important thing is that the student's responsibility for their own behavior is enhanced. Always remember that having a positive classroom climate that is conducive for learning doesn't happen by chance because it needs to be intentionally created. That's all for today. Uh, I hope you learned something for this video. And if you have clarifications, violent reactions, and questions, you can contact me at my Facebook account, uh, ifanitukatyahodot. Again, kamsamnida, budayo sa'yo. Anong hadyo sa'yo.